you want to cite instances of racism that we can all find and fight together, that's something that I am more than willing to stand next to you and fight because that's obviously stuff that we should fight together. But when you just say that there is a white privilege out there in the ether and that by dint of birth your skin color generates for you an advantage, what you're really saying to people is that you, your view is less valuable because you have not experienced what I've experienced. And that is an identity argument, that's a character argument, that's not a rational political argument that can actually be, be taken on in any way. That's, that's, it's, more of a, it's more of a cudgel in a club than it is an attempt to open a discussion. I said, shit I said, shit Die, that's my chin. Die, that's my chin. I'm going to say court. I'm going to say court. Friend, wouldn't bother. Friendly, can't please. Um, as a specific one, you know, it was, um, what I do, actually, I would think it's a calling, to say. Because I think through various experiences in my life, and I'm not saying that I'm old, I'm actually 33 years old now, but I would say the experiences I've come across, they've hindered a lot of opportunities for young black people like myself. At some particular time, I was head of economic development in Ward 39, which is in Orlando West. And at the same time, you are put in a space whereby you need to work with individuals who are supposed to take care of the community's needs and wants and making sure that the communities are well taken care of. Yet unfortunately they want to self-enrich themselves, only focus on projects that bring some financial beneficiation um, as to everything else that does not work for them. And it really did not sit well with me. Um, at some point I remember there was a request that came to governance um, for a school and that school was actually asking for a simple thing like a simple thank you ceremony for the kids you know um, as to what they have done and achieved throughout the school year and unfortunately they could not achieve that because they were not politically aligned with the individuals they were asking help from so for me personally we I wanted to get rid of that political affiliation whereby to say you as an individual number one you're a South African citizen every single thing you see in this country is supposed to benefit you according to your ge geographical location so for instance this park here this park here is supposed to benefit the entire community and its surroundings the stadium behind us it's supposed to benefit the entire community and its surroundings but unfortunately we find that only a selected few will benefit because you are politically aligned to whomever and this is why we need to take initiatives beyond political affiliation as individuals because number one, we are neighbors, um, we are South Africans, we bleed the same color blood. Irrespective of you not being a South African or being a foreign national, that doesn't mean you are not living in our country. Because you are here, you are also benefiting the rewards of being in this country and some are benefiting illegally and we are saying to them they need to comply. You know, we are not, Africa's one long strip of land and there is sufficient space for us to be able to live and benefit the, really, the best way possible. It's a foundation that focuses on developing such talent, making sure that these talents find the relevant strategic collaborations so that they can better themselves, get the relevant resources for them to fly like, like the stars they are today. And we need to make sure we find that community commitment not only from government, but us as parents as well, as siblings, as business people. We need to make sure that we, are, we become good corporate citizens. We need to understand, we want a peaceful environment where we are, so that nobody wants to be disturbed in their own little corner of peace. And working hand in hand, having strategic relationships with these local policing forums, these security clusters and organizations to make sure we build these communities that can relevantly benefit these young stars and young girls, young boys and so forth. And you find that a majority of the time we need to play beyond our own boundary lines. What I mean by that is you find that a lot of kids lack that parental role, especially that father role. And there's initiatives like the Gentleman's Initiative whereby we go beyond our own boundaries. We make sure that every single child who we see on the streets, we 
treat them like our own. So, I'm going to go to the street and go to the tissues coming. You won't just pass a bandwan and you bat like a strategy. It's over course. And that is the kind of brotherhood, fatherhood, parenting we need to have. And unfortunately, these days, we find that certain parents don't want their kids to be parented by other people because it's my kids. But at the end of the day, when your child is in a very dangerous situation and we are there as your community, we need to make sure that we safeguard Danawako and they are safe. So it's civic organizations that also need to come into play and make sure they bring a relevant impact in that space because if we don't bring that relevant impact we will not see the kind of south africa we want